Bloodhound Alpha, Bloodhound Alpha, no sign of the target in Sector 5. Repeat, no sign of the target in Sector 7. Sector 7B, also negative. That's a negative for Sector 7B. This is a goddamn waste of time. He could be a thousand miles away by now. Not in his condition. the sample. Did you touch the sample? You shouldn't have touched it. You know better.
had that coming, you bastard. Oh, no fair! You're dead! I killed you fair and square, you <laughs> son of a bitch! Oh, how many times have I told you not to curse? How many times have I told you to keep your hands to yourself? All right, easy, killer. That'll teach you to strike a defenseless woman, not your girlfriend, you know. No, she's still out there somewhere. Her and Travis. They say we gang up on them. Isn't that cheating? You know what they say about love and war. And this is both of them. Let's get them. Yeah. Who the hell are they? Must be another team. I say we rush them. Too many. Pussy. Don't be offensive. Besides, we're after Travis and Brooke. Focus on the objective. Focus on the objective. Gee, Jigs, a couple weeks in the reserves and you're John Wayne or something. Quiet. Who kicked your ass back there? That's what I want to know. Quiet. Looks deserted. Make a good hiding place, wouldn't it? What if they found it first? I bet they did. Brooke, anyway. She likes to ambush. Split up. You take that side, I'll go the other way. Who's giving the orders around here? I am. <laughs> You're so tough. Funny moves. Who are you? What are you doing here? You're one of them, aren't you? you? Put your hands behind your head. Now, now get moving. That way. Nice and easy. I'll use this thing if I have to, I swear. I'll, I'll, I'll blow your freaking head off. What about my friend? He's okay. I checked him out. Don't worry about him. What's this all about anyway? Ah, like you don't know. No more talk now. Just get going. Take off your clothes. What? You heard me, all of them, now! 
I knew you were a pervert the minute I saw you. Put them in there. Can I have some fun with them later? Just do it. Out of black lace number, you might have liked even better. Shut up! I'm taking a chance letting you live at all. Never mind, it wouldn't have fit you anyway. What's this all about? No more talking. In there. Only two of you left. Who's gonna be the next one to give his life for science, huh? Sorry, little fella, it can't be helped. It's a couple of lab rats versus five billion human beings. Sometimes it doesn't seem like a fair trade. Oh well. I might not be far behind you. In you go.
Brooke. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. What the hell is going on here? No clue. I saw, I saw a big guy, like a like a bug man. Yeah, I saw him too. Come on, let's get some more sleep. Man, that's a hell of a bump. I think you're gonna be okay though. Where's Beth? I thought she was with you. That guy must have got her. What, the bug man? Yeah, the bug man. There's some seriously weird and dangerous shit going on here. Let's just find Beth and get the hell out of here. Yeah, I don't think we can. What do you mean? I tried to get out like an hour ago and some guy shot at me. Real bullets. He almost blew my head off. Jesus. Yeah. What about Travis? Travis, he's still outside. He was trying to ambush you guys in the woods. Well, at least he's safe. Look at these guys. I bet you think you're hot stuff. Let's see how good you really are. What a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> Game on. <laughs> Somebody get a garbage detail in here. Shit, 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 shit! I'm such an idiot sometimes. What are we gonna do? We're gonna get Beth back. Get the hell out of here. How? One thing at a time. He's got a gun. So do I. He's got a real gun. Yeah, well, maybe he won't know we're bluffing. Doing. I get to ask the questions now. <sighs> I knew you were one of them. I knew it! Let me out of here! You Shut don't up. understand the danger you're in! Shut ah! up! For God's sake! Ah! Shut up! Ah! Shut up! Ah! Did you hear that? Yeah, I think it came from this way. Beth? What the hell is happening here? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who are those people outside and why are they shooting at us? <laughs> like you don't know. We don't know. Why are you carrying those weapons? It's a paintball gun. It's a game. You think this is a game? The future of the entire planet depends on what happens here in the next few hours. This isn't any paintball gun. Beth! Well, I want some straight answers. You can't kill me. I'm the only hope the human race has. If I don't finish my work here, it's over! You can't finish your work tied to a chair, can you? Of course not! So why don't you tell us what's going on and we'll let you go? <sighs> okay. All right. My name is Dr. Philip Boscovic. I was in charge of a government project to 
to develop a biological weapon for military use that can be contained. Kill everything within a prescribed radius and then die out within a predetermined time period before it gets spread beyond the target area. Lovely. Oh, don't get all self-righteous with me. We've all done stuff we're ashamed of. Yeah, I hear you. I stole a Spider-Man comic when I was nine. I haven't been the same since. So what went wrong? <sighs> it mutated unpredictably. In its present form, no one fully understands its properties, but it is a potentially unstoppable contagion that can devastate life on this planet if it gets out of control. It's the dingus. No! But he keeps staring at it. Stay away from that! So you created this super virus all by yourself in this dump? Of course not. My partner and I escaped with the only samples. God, I don't know what happened to him. I hid here until I could find a means to render the virus harmless. But no, they found me. One more question. Who are those guys outside that won't let us go? Government troops. They don't look like military. They're not supposed to. They don't want any panic. Why don't they just rush in and take you out? I don't know! Maybe they finally believe me, I don't know. They should contend for the moment just to bide their time until they figure out their next move. Keep me contained here, just like you. You might also be contaminated. Right. You guys want to join me outside for a minute? Wait a second! You said you were gonna let me go! We'll be right back. You said you were gonna let me go! You said you were gonna let I knew it! I knew you were one of them, you lying bastard! Well, you know what? I'm not gonna do your dirty work anymore! I'm not gonna do it! You're joking! You have to tell me! You're not gonna do it! You're not gonna do it! What do you think? What do I think? I think his mom left him at the Trekkie convention too long. That's what I think. Are you buying that crap he's spouting? No, no, I'm not. I just, I, I don't know. I don't see anybody. I do, behind that tree over there. There are at least two others, there and there. Those are the guys that shot at you? Close enough. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, God. us going out there. Are you okay? I don't know. Ow! It looks like it just passed through some baby fat. Shut up. Ow. Ow! James, you're hurting her! Uh, she's tough. I think we just need to stop the bleeding. I'm not really... Oh, God. I'm not really sure what to do. Oh, give me that. You need a doctor. Really? Jigs, what are we gonna do? Call 911. Why didn't you stop and come back in when they started shooting at you? I wanted to see if they were bluffing. Now you know, don't you? Hello? Hello, yes, listen. I'm with some friends of mine. We're in the old house out on Hollerin Road. Yeah, there's some wackos with guns, some militia group or something. They're, they have us trapped and they shot one of my friends. Of course it's serious. She's been shot. She's bleeding and... Yeah, there's three of us. Get the old empty house on Hollerin. Okay, right. Thank you. They said sit tight. Help is on the way.
Major Lawson? Captain, status report. Boscovich is inside the house. He has the alpha sample with him. We have the area secure and surrounded by armed personnel. We intercepted a 911 call from within the house. It appears to be that there are three civilians inside with Boscovich. How did they get past the sentries? That's unknown. One of them was wounded attempting escape. So much for keeping this low key. Orders were to prevent anyone from exiting the building at any cost, Major. Orders were to prevent anyone from entering the building as well. What about Clarkson and the beta sample? Intercepted attempting to flee and liquidated. And the sample? Liquidated as well. Incinerated. I thought that was contraindicated. They're still arguing about that, Major. Latest briefing has it that temperatures of 500 degrees Fahrenheit and above would effectively destroy the contagion. But they're not sure? They're not sure of anything, Major. Jeez, we can't release the stuff, we can't destroy it. We can't take Boscovic, and we can't interfere with him. What the hell are we supposed to do here, Diane? We're supposed to hang tight. I don't imagine you have anything to drink around here. No, well, you know me. I suppose you can't tell me what the big boys upstairs have planned. I can tell you I don't know. There's talk of a secret weapon being brought into play. How's Leslie? Well, she's fine. I haven't seen much of her the past two months, but she's used to that by now, I suppose. How's Matt? Matt who? What are we going to do about those civilians, Diane? Keep a lid on them until we get further information. One's been shot. Not much we can do about that. Do we have any idea what Bosovic is doing in there? We're working on it. I have a pair of operatives infiltrating the building through a secret tunnel in the basement. The house is supposed to be under strict quarantine. We've taken every precaution. They have the no same... No one goes in! General Ackerman's orders, Major. Great. It's irritating. It'll stop soon. How do you know? Go check it out. Forget it. It's nothing. The beeping stopped. You see, I told you it was nothing. who worked as an intern at the psycho ward. He could never sleep at night because of the loonies howling. If he doesn't shut up soon, I'll give him something to howl about. What was that? He stopped screaming. That's what I meant. Something must have happened to him. All right, I'll check it out. No, don't touch me. Don't come near me. It's too late. It's too late. 
There's nothing anyone can do. What do you, what's happened? I don't know, but it's loose. It mutated again, and it's loose, and there's nothing anyone can do. What's loose? What are you talking about? Get out. Maybe it's not too late for you. Get out. No, don't touch me. Get out. Get out. Get out. We heard shouts. What's going on? Something's happened to him. You should have seen it. His skin, it's all slimy. It looks like it's going to fall off his bone. I think maybe he wasn't as full of crap as we thought. Oh, God, do you think that biological warfare stuff was for real? I don't know, but he kept shouting, don't touch me, don't touch me, and I think we better leave him alone, wait till the authorities get here, and let them handle it. We need to stay as far away from him as we can. I don't want to wait for any authorities. They say we look for another way out right now. Well, how are you doing? I'm okay. I, I think the bleeding stopped. Okay, let's check out the rest of the house. Oh, God! Sure, you're okay. You're doing just fine. Look, you two stay here. I'll check out the rest of the house. I don't need a babysitter. Brooke, you go on with him. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? I'll be fine. Go on, take off. I can use the peace and quiet. Okay, let's go. Surrounded by armed goons, and you don't like this? It's just not pleasing you, is there? I don't like the way you and Beth are acting. Talking about shooting people and whacking them with hatchets? Beth has been shot, for God's sake. And what's your excuse? A victim of circumstance. I remember reading in some of these old houses and secret passages on the you know, Underground Railroad and all that. I always wondered how they could fit an entire train underneath a house. It wasn't an actual railroad. I know that. I was a kid. Anyway, I don't think the odds are very good we're going to find anything like that around here. No, you're probably right. I won't believe this. How did you know? Lucky guess. Oh, come on. My mom. She was president of the Historical Society. I'm not going to get a straight answer out of you, am I? No. I wish I had a flashlight. Boscovic who? 
Don't get cute. Let's all keep calm. We're not your enemies. Tell him that. Boskovic's in his lab. There's something wrong with him. What sort of something? I don't know. Let's go. Take us to him. You didn't say please. Please. What about her? She needs help. There's nothing we can do. Not right now. No one can leave this house. I'm sorry. Let's go to this lab. This way. What happened in there? We don't know. He was doing some kind of experiment, and when we came back, we found him like that. Taped to a chair? I did that. He was getting out of control. Boscovic? Professor Boscovic? I can get you some help, but you need to cooperate. I need some answers. Where is it? Where is the specimen? It's inside of me. Using me up. In raw material. Pretty soon, I'll be gone and it'll be loose. And then there'll be no stopping it. What is it? Talk to me. Dr. Rayburn is here. Karen. Yes. You want me to bring her in? No. Don't bring her in here. Central Control, this is Dr. Rayburn. Are you reading me? Reading you. Chandler's dead. Chandler and Boskovic both. Are you receiving video transmission? Affirmative. What the hell is that? I think it's what's left of the two men. So we'll get the captain and Major Larson. Now! Captain Forrester, Major Larson, we're getting transmission from the house. Sir, it's Dr. Rayburn. She's transmitting from the house. I'm trying to find a way out of the room. But the door seems tight. I think Vodkovic was prepared for something like this. Do you have any idea what the hell that thing is? No idea. This is Major Larson. Give us your best guess, Doctor. It looks like some kind of giant unicellular organism. But that can't be. Uh, maybe it's a colony. A colony? Like certain species of jellyfish. Oh, but that can't be right either. I don't know. No guess, ma'am. I have no idea at all. Can you see that? 
searching the area. It's probing its surroundings. It's looking for food. Are you sure that thing is contained? It seems to be. Maintain communication. Observe and keep us posted. Understood, Major. If that thing shows any sign at all of getting loose, let me know immediately. Yes, ma'am. Can we transmit this video feed to headquarters? Yes, sir. Do it. Tell your men anyone leaving the house is to be terminated. Jigs, she's looking worse. Jesus, she's on fire. Hey, did I hear him call you doctor? Yes. Can you get over here and take a look at her? I can't. What do you mean you can't? You're a doctor. This woman could be dying. I'm sorry. This is more important. More important? My ass. Look, the thing's not even moving. I'll babysit your monster. I'll tell you the second it twitches. Just get over there. Go! How did this happen? She stepped outside and one of your guys shot her. They're not my guys. Does this hurt? A little. How about this? Ah! Uh. The wound itself isn't so bad. She's lost a lot of blood. And clearly there's infection. Can't you do something? I'm not prepared for this. I don't have anything to work with. Can't they fly something in? I mean, even if we can't leave, can't they send in some supplies? Central Control, this is Dr. Rayburn. Are you reading me? Reading you, Dr. Rayburn. Any change? The thing appears to be dormant. There's a chance it could atrophy without a food supply, but I can't be sure. Listen, one of the civilians was wounded, attempting to leave the area. He's lost a lot of blood and there's intra-abdominal infection. Is there any way you can get me some supplies so that I can provide treatment? That would be a negative, Doctor. There must be something that you can do. Can't you drop me the supplies by air? That would be a negative also, Doctor. Look. I understand the need for isolation, but surely there must be... Oh no. Dr. Rayburn. Dr. Rayburn, what's happening? Dr. Rayburn, can you read me? It's reproducing. In 18 hours, there will be over 250,000 of those things. That's a lot of blobs. Assuming nothing could stop them, and at this point, we're not sure if anything can, in just over 48 hours, the massive organisms will cover the entire surface of the planet. Is that including the oceans? Yes, it is. Yeah, but that's assuming a constant food supply. Okay, in order to reproduce, they have to ingest. But we're not sure what constitutes food for them. Well, we know that they absorb organic material. Is that all they feed on? Remember, this is fundamentally different life form. We can't assume anything. What if it lives on, say, nitrogen? <laughs> you mean air? How is that possible? It doesn't share DNA with any previously known organism. Anything's possible. Gentlemen, please. I appreciate your input, but what we have to do now is correlate the data we have. Whatever that may be, 
transmit it back to headquarters, where they'll make a final decision in a calm and rational manner. Please, please! Boss is not accomplishing anything! I don't know what the problem is. We've isolated the enemy, now we strike. It isn't as simple as that. We're not sure how this organism propagates. I hear what you've been saying, I'm not deaf. The only way to make sure that the threat is eliminated, especially in light of what we've just seen, is to destroy every last molecule. So we nuke it. The temperature at the center of a nuclear explosion is 10 million degrees. Won't be a lot of molecules left. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Who's going to take the responsibility for setting off an atomic weapon on U.S. soil? <laughs> I'll tell you who. The terrorists. That's who, and nobody will bat an eye. This is no time to lie to the American people. What are you saying? Announce that we've set off a nuclear weapon to counteract a biological weapon that got out of control? Announce it. Boy, I can tell that you have never run for re-election. If we don't act fast, there won't be any more elections. Every man, woman, and child on this planet will have to kiss his and or her ass goodbye. Well, that's a lot of hogwash. Well, maybe it is or maybe it isn't. The point is we don't know. If we make the wrong decision in 48 hours, life on this planet is finished. Now, I know that sounds far-fetched. We're talking about one organism loose in one small house, but that's what we're up against. We've been dicking with this planet for decades. We've been careless, but we've been lucky. Or maybe we've finally pushed it too far. By the time we're sure, it could be too late. I say nuke it. Professor Ethelred, you had an alternative proposal. Has anyone ever heard of the Tunguska project? Tunguska? Isn't that the place in Russia where the giant meteor hit? In Siberia, in 1908, an explosion of unexplained origin leveled 2,000 square kilometers of forest. The speculation about what caused it ranges from meteor impact to a, a UFO crashing to the possible collision of a small black hole with the Earth. So, the Tunguska project grew out of attempts to produce miniature black holes using particle accelerators to promote super high energy collisions between protons. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? In the process, we may have found a way to form controllable singularities of limited but profound destructive capacity. Excuse me, Professor, but are you talking about a black hole bomb? Something like that. Is there any running water in this place? We could flush out the wound and keep it as clean as possible. I'll go look. And we need something to use as bandages. Everything in here is so filthy. It's okay. Well, it's not exactly sterile, but better than nothing. change in the situation. The organism is no longer in visual proximity. What? It's gone. Well, at least I can't see it any longer. Major Larson here. When did it disappear? Where did it go? Um, I'm not sure, Major. What? You were supposed to be watching it. I'm sorry. I, I was occupied. Occupied? I was tending to the wounded civilian. That's not what you're there for. I'm sorry. Get inside the lab, find out what happened, where the thing went. Inside the lab? You heard me. You screwed up once, don't screw up again. No, ma'am. She's doing. Take care of that.
Rayburn. Reading you, Dr. Rayburn. Any change? quarantined anymore. In a manner of speaking. Meaning what? My orders are to go back for decontamination after neutralizing the three of you. Rayburn here. Are you listening? things after a while. I'm an exobiologist, for God's sake, not a hitman. This was a civilian project when I signed on. Boscovic was studying the feasibility of non-carbon-based life forms, ammonia-based microorganisms on Ganymede, that kind of thing. And then the military found some of his results. And before you know it, wham, I'm a bioterrorist. Why don't I take that? Before you hurt somebody. What the hell am I gonna do? We can't stay here. Not with those things loose. We can get out through that tunnel. The other end is crawling with guards. We need outside help. Give me your phone. No. They'll intercept it, like the last time. You mean help isn't on the way? Here. Use mine. It's encrypted. Go ahead. I'm one of you now. Sir, there's an outgoing call emanating from the house. Patch it through, let's hear it. No can do, sir. It's some kind of encrypted frequency. Can't you find out where it's going to? Trying, sir. Here, hold on. Hey, it's for you. Hey, wake up. I have a phone call. Hey, I told you to keep those things out of my face. It's for you. Yeah. Oh, hi. What? You're shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. You're shitting me. Are you shitting me? <sighs> yeah, I know the place. Okay. But you better not be shitting me. Who is that? Mind your own business. It was another girlfriend? It used to be. Oh, she prettier than me? <sighs> uh, you got a better ass. Uh, what did she want? Some guy shot her. She's trapped in a house. I gotta go help her out. Okay. Have fun. Now what? I've been thinking, we may be safer back in the tunnel. These things can't ambush us there. Suits me. Let's just get the hell out of here. What are your bosses up to anyway? They keep people lit on this place mm. forever. They gotta have something planned. Well, they do, but I have no idea what it is. Conditions of work here and our government liaison know about this facility. The technology is based on German experiments dating back to the 1920s. This tank contains 50,000 metric tons of low-density klystron plasma. It's necessary to maintain the stability of the magnetic envelopes that contain the singularities. <clears throat> the 
Those glowing orbs you see in the center contain two quantum singularities of near critical mass. The magnetic envelopes keep them separated. If they were to come into contact, their masses would combine, pushing them past the gravitational threshold, creating a vortex in the space timeline which would feed on the surrounding matter, essentially reducing it to nothingness. A black hole? No, not a black hole. A black hole is a region of space where mass is so compressed that nothing can escape its gravitational pull. A black hole the size of a pea would require the mass of this entire planet. What we have here is an entirely different principle. Listen, we don't have time for a physics lecture. We wouldn't understand it anyway. Just what is it you suppose we do with this thing? Once removed from the safety of this tank, the magnetic envelopes would maintain stability for only a matter of hours. The singularities would combine, and the resulting mega-singularity would feed on surrounding matter until the effects of Hawking radiation rendered it stable, essentially reducing it to nothing. And this would take how long? A matter of minutes. How many minutes? No less than three, but no more than 15. And what is the damage estimate? Best case scenario, everything within a radius of 7 to 13 miles would cease to exist. I hate to ask this, what would the worst case scenario be? It's been discussed, although I personally think the chances of this are insignificant. But it's been suggested that the singularity would continue to grow feeding on surrounding matter until this entire planet was absorbed. The end of the world. Oh, let me point out. The same sort of thing was suggested before the first atomic bomb test at Alamogordo. And yet, the planet's still here. Oh, well. That's comforting. Can I speak to you in private? Excuse us. Look, I don't understand what any of this stuff means. Neither do I, but I can tell you one thing for sure. You and I both understand it a lot better than the Commander-in-Chief ever could. And he's gonna base what he does on what we tell him. I don't know what to tell him. Hell, even these damn geniuses that created this stuff don't understand it. If we don't use the bomb, the Earth's overrun with blobs. Or maybe not. If we do use the bomb, there may be no planet left. Or maybe not. <laughs> as far as I can tell, we might as well be sitting here with our thumbs up our asses doing nothing. Yeah, well, we can't advise that. No. I think there's only one thing we can do. Heads, we use the bomb. Tails, we don't. Uh, after uh, grave and serious deliberation, we've come to a decision. You think those things can see? I doubt it. I doubt they have any sensory organs. The most they can probably do is detect vibrations. Let's 
go. Hey, Jake. Stay here. It's our only chance. I'm not going to go there. I can't. I can't. I can't. I Off, you don't let us out of here. No one leaves the house. For God's sake, listen to me. What was that? I think I heard something outside. Go check it out. Our guards are under attack. I can see that, you idiot. Can't they defend themselves against a bunch of thugs? We weren't expecting anything like this. We've got to clear the area. Those people may be contaminated. We can't let them leave the area. We have all the roads blocked. They've got to be terminated. We don't have time to deal with them. We've got to get our own people out of there. Terminate the civilians and evacuate. The device has reached destination, ma'am. How long until detonation? Implosion, ma'am. Whatever. How long? Unknown, ma'am. What? 
The device became unstable the moment it was removed from the container tank, Major. There's no way of knowing when it will reach critical mass. So what you're saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're saying it goes off when it goes off? Exactly, sir. Jesus. Tell those men to unload the device as quickly as possible and get the hell out of there. Yes, ma'am. What's the estimated range on the device? Uh, approximately 7 to 13 miles, ma'am. And what's our distance from the implosion center? 17.3 miles. It's cutting it a little close. What the hell is that? I don't know, thunderstorm? That's it. We're out of here. Come on, let's move. Take it easy. We're going. Come on, come on. Okay. Reaching 1.5 miles, 2.3, 5 miles, 7.2 miles, 8 miles, 11, 13.5 miles, 7 to 13 miles they said, approximately. 15 miles, 16.2 miles. Hurricane force winds were reported over the entire northeast coast. There is still a great deal of speculation over what has caused the cataclysm, which is almost certainly the worst natural disaster in the last 70 million years. We go now to our science correspondent, Robert Coker. Robert, in your best guess, what do you think has caused this unimaginable destruction? First of all, I'd like to put to rest any ideas that this was an atomic weapon or any other sort of man-made disaster. This was clearly some sort of an unprecedented natural phenomenon. There's been speculation that a small piece of antimatter entered the Earth's atmosphere, similar to what may have happened in the Tunguska region of Siberia nearly a century ago. It's also been suggested that a miniature black hole may have collided with the Earth. Now, excuse me, Bob, is that possible? It's certainly possible. For years, physicists have theorized that many black holes are frequent natural occurrence, only at scales so minute they can't... You know, I heard that if you get caught in a black hole, it messes with your sense of time, so it feels like 200,000 years before you die. That would serve some people right, wouldn't it? I hope nobody got caught in that thing. Just look at all the people who got killed by the collateral destruction. What the hell is the point of any of it? You are asking way too sensible a question. It's progress. You know, we used to have angry gods who would send down destruction if we pissed them off. Now we just do it ourselves. Yeah, I guess there's something to be said for self-sufficiency. There you go. Well, at least it's all over now. Yeah. Sure it is. Thank you.